the view of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah from all of the Sahaba, Tabi'un, the great Imams of the Salaf, they said that the locus of Iman, the root of Iman, is found in the heart and it is found on the tongue in speech as well as physical actions all of this is part of iman when we speak about our iman iman is not just what we believe it's not only something that's in the heart iman is more than that ibn abul iz rahimahullah he wrote that the prophet sallallahu has made it absolutely clear that a person is definitely not a believer if it is claimed that he believes in the prophet sallallahu but he does not profess it with his tongue even though he can what is he saying he's saying a person is not a, not a real believer if he claims that he believes in his tongue or in his heart but he never professes it he never utters words like the kalima shahada of la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah nor does he offer salah nor fasts nor does he love allah and his prophet nor fears him this is not iman even if the claim is that iman is where in his heart if it's not found in his speech and actions then this is not true iman rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said iman has more than 70 branches the highest is to believe in la ilaha illallah and the lowest is removing a harmful object from the road from the path notice the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying to remove something harmful from the road there's a branch laying in the street cars are going to drive past it may be dangerous you come and you remove it if this was done as a good deed seeking allah's reward you will be rewarded for this and this is part of your iman this is a sign that you that you have belief in allah removing anything harmful is a sign of iman it's part of your deed it's part of your Iman. He said, modesty is part of Iman. The Prophet ﷺ said, modesty, shyness is part of Iman. So if you find somebody male or female, remember, haya, modesty is not for females only. Modesty, we always associate it with the females. They must be modest, they must be dressed modest. True, 100% correct. But a man should also be modest in the way he dress, dresses, in the way he speaks, in the way he interacts. Because haya, the Prophet said, is part of Iman. When you have modesty, this is a sign you have Iman. When your modesty is not existent, it means your Iman is low. It means your Iman is deficient because this is a part of Iman. He also said the most perfect of believers is the one who is best in character. Part of our belief, our Iman is our character. It's a reflection of our Iman. If our character is deficient, our Iman is deficient. This is the belief of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Our actions are part of Iman. The two cannot be disassociated. We do not disassociate say, I'm a strong believer, but I have character flaws, but that's got nothing to do with my belief. This is an incorrect statement. If your belief was strong, your character would be stronger. Your character would be better. If your belief was strong, your modesty would be stronger and better and more powerful. Your haya would be something stronger. So if you take the example of a female, you may find a woman, she says, I believe 100%, but I'm not ready for the hijab. I'm not ready to cover my aura. This statement, now we should understand, is problematic because there's a contradiction. If your iman was truly strong, it would reflect in your actions. It would be seen in your actions. Because the two cannot be disassociated from each other. And this we can apply to any obligation of the religion. I'm a strong believer, but I only pray from time to time. My iman is intact, but I only pray from time to time. This is a contradictory, contradicting statement. If your iman was strong and intact, you would be praying five times a day. If, it's, if you are not praying five times a day, it means your iman is deficient. We are not saying you're out of the fold of Islam. We are saying your iman is deficient.